Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing well. So today we are back again with a new skincare updated routine. I remember I did a skincare video sometime when I started this channel way back, way, way, way back, sometime in 2018 or something like that. So this is an updated version of my current skincare routine my morning skincare routine. So this is what I typically do on uh, the days when I want to pamper myself. I, of course, do not follow all these steps that I'm going to show you like on a regular day when I'm running errands, when I have to go to work. Definitely, it's difficult for me to follow all the steps. But however, on days when um, I am just um, at home, I'm lazing around, I have a lot of time in my hand, these are the steps that I essentially follow. So without much further of a blabbering, let me just take you into the video and let me show you the steps that I follow to ensure that I have an amazing glowing skin. A disclaimer, all the products that I'm using, I am not affiliated with anyone, neither am I promoting anyone. These are the brands that I've been using right now, and they have been doing really good, really amazing for my skin. That is why I wanted to give a shout out to these brands and uh, let you all know that I freaking love them. So the first thing that I do in my skincare routine is cleanse. So this is the product that I use in the morning. Take a small pea sized amount and then lather it into my skin. Give it a nice massage and then wipe it off with a warm towel. It lifts away all the dirt and oil and makeup. Soap free, oil free, paraben free. And it's hypoallergenic and non comedogenic. It only does it boost hydration into my skin but also makes it soft and supple. One thing that I forgot mentioning is ensure that your skin is a little damp. So first rinse your face and then take the amount of face wash that you want to use on your skin. And always remember to pat your skin gently dry. Do not rub, do not scrub, just gently pat your skin. Uh, the next step that I like to do is tone my skin. After cleansing, of course, you need a good toner. To tighten your pores and make your skin look brighter. So the toner that I've been loving off late is uh, this one from Glow Recipe. Watermelon extracts, hydrates, soothes, and delivers essential vitamins and amino acids. Hyaluronic acid quenches the thirsty skin. And the cactus water seals in the moisture and delivers electrolytes. The BHA gently exfoliates while the BHA cleanses the pores for a smoother, clearer skin. Immediately after this, I like to go ahead with my jade roller. It has been proven over the years that jade roller is a one of the best methods to help lymphatic drainage to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And I so love massaging with this. One tip and advice I would like to give here is before you use the jade roller, put it into the freezer for a couple of minutes. 10 would be sufficient and enjoy the cool, relaxing facial massage at home. One of the best serums I have used by far. Absolutely love this serum from Drunk Elephant. Most important ingredients in this serum is pineapple ceramides, pro-vitamin B5, and sodium hyaluronate. Pineapple ceramides boosts the luminosity, the pro-vitamin B5 attracts hydration and holds it there, where the sodium hyaluronate 
uh, penetrates the skin and reduces the appearance of fine line and wrinkles. A sunscreen is a must and this one that I use here is from Shiseido. I absolutely love this brand. Though I do not use sunscreen on a regular basis, but I suggest when you are doing an extensive skincare routine like so, gently pat the sunscreen before applying the moisturizer. The next step is of course use a moisturizer and this one is from First Aid Beauty. I absolutely adore this one. It is so hydrating, feels like a balm on my skin and the two most in important ingredients that I feel made me buy it was definitely oatmeal and shea butter. Absolutely love them both. And finally, give your face a nice massage. Go in upward strokes, upward motion as shown here. And not forgetting your neck, of course. And the last step, lock it with a lip balm or a lip cream, whatever you have. This one that I'm using here is from Colourpop. All right, so that being said, that brings us an end to our skincare routine. Definitely, of course, I do not follow these steps every single day, but whenever I feel my skin needs that extra hydration, that extra boost of energy, I definitely, and of course, when I have that extra time with me, then definitely I indulge and I splurge myself uh, into this extensive skincare routine. Hope you guys liked it and enjoyed it as much as I did while I was filming it. I'm going to catch up with you guys soon. Take care. Bye. Mwah.